What's up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we're here with uh, Jill from Teppin. Uh, she just came out. She's a new hero and all that good stuff, a new red hero. And, you know, she has an explore option, which is really cool. It gives her, like, options to put more cards into her the EX pocket. And it's pretty interesting. Like, her deck is kind of, like, similar to, like, Ryu in terms of offense and defense. But you can also do the red-green combo, which is really strong with Jill. So here's my deck showcasing that. I have Noble Death, True Faith, obviously, powering up the... Mikali Victor, new card, Guile's new card. So these are some of the new cards that came out with Jill that it's gonna really help her combo game, her damage game, and all of this. And obviously we need the green support card, so check it out and let's see how good my Jill is. Alright, so now we have some Jill versus Chung Li. Let's just get it started, man. So Dion is a really good uh, for Chun-Li, um, Jill, I don't know how to use any of the other um, hero arts except for Ultimate Weapon because it's pretty self-standard. So obviously we're going to put out uh, the homie out, Bacterlos, uh, who's going to put me Flight. Usually it's really hard to stop Flight. Guile's a new addition of card in the game. He is a 3, three, three cost with a combo, which is really, really good, right? So yeah, I was going to probably think about doing that, but since he put Iris for Shield, I might as well give it to Bacterlos. You know, get that three damage, guaranteed three damage unless he could, uh, Chun Li could stop it. You know, I got the reckless charge, um, the the shield, the wall jump. Now I'm gonna give Guile flight. So because I give Guile flight, it's gonna go over Iris attack, and now I'm gonna be able to do six damage for this one turn because that plus two is gonna go back to one after this one turn only. But you know, it's really all about in this situation where like eventually I'm gonna be able to get that 17 AP where I'm gonna use my, you know, bust out the hero weapon, right? Okay, that was smart stuff with the evasive action. So yeah, I might as well just spend it, put the shield out, because I don't want Chris to live, right? That Chris with the victory, if he kills Bacterlos, it's actually gonna be really hurtful because the other team is gonna just do a lot of damage in this situation, right? So another time right here, yep, he's gonna do the, uh, the next card with the victor, and that every time I summon that, it does explore to give me that awesome handgun. So now I'm going to get that 5 damage right here on the flight. And plus I already have my ultimate weapon able to summon that. And just like that, the surrender has happened so quick. I think he was able to tell the future. So I mean, that was kind of too quick. So let's move on to another game and see what we can do from there. Alright, so now we're going to go over the second match. And this time it's against Nurg. Gante. Nerd Gante, I know he got nerfed, but he's still pretty good, I would say. This is a pretty good hand, a lot of like uh, MP boosting. So, yeah, we're gonna put the Iris out. Yeah, make sure you gotta drag your cards out so you get like that first frame. So, you could kind of like get that little inch of just building that MP like right away. You know, I might it might just be uh, like a fighting game thing, but yeah, I'm all about just like precise timing, you know, the one frame links. So, I think it kind of it might work out in this game as well, right? So you see, I'm building my MP way faster, and I'm gonna build my other MP faster. I'm probably gonna take two damage right here, which is completely fine because you know it's all about setting up shop, right? I need to set up shop. Let's get that explore option. You know, throw some offense in there. Think about which one to throw, and I'm gonna probably wait in the last turn. Yes. Yeah, usually you want to wait at the last second to kind of do an action card or summon a card just to kind of like, you know like get your opponent to be like oh yeah like damn i couldn't react to that because if you try to do it early then it'll give them so much more time to think about well what to do after after certain scenarios right but yeah because i was able to kill it kill his zombie and also do, do three damage at the same time same thing with iris right here see because i want to hit nerg before he's able to just kind of like do a lot more sacrificing because he's able to sacrifice um health to, to put out the monster those are like the cards that he uses right so i want to make sure like he hurts. So, all right, this Iris is going to hit him directly for just five damage right here for this one turn. It's amazing, right? And then we'll get the ultimate weapon. Iris is probably going to go down from the zombie. Yeah, because I don't have a shield ready for me yet. So, but, oh, evasive action. That's, yep. So, I'm going to use that. Well, I'm surprised he used that. He didn't. I guess he didn't want him to die. But look, I'm gonna just take eight damage from there. That was just a bad move from his. I was actually pretty confused on why he did that. And I might as well um, buff up my my Victor on the top with the five damage. He resets the Iris to one six. He took eight. That was just a bad move in general, like totally bad. And because you 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 did that, I was able just to do just just get some more damage out there, right? I think that was just, that was a misplay on my part. I shouldn't have done that. Put the feline to get the to the three damage. Where right, I should probably give it to Iris just because it was gonna attack directly. Unless he unless uh 
pretty much Nurg is able to get this spike launch out. Because once he gets the spike launch out, obviously he's going to use that. Okay, that was good stuff. He used Able. Um, hopefully it doesn't take out all my attacks, all my characters. Boom. Three. Yep, that's fine. Nice. I'm going to put the shield on Iris. Protect her. Because we need the shields out here, right? And this Nurg doesn't seem like he has any destroy cards, which is going to be a big problem. Okay, he's going to put some more health in there. So I'm going to give uh, Feline some flight in there, try to get that 3 damage, because I don't want to, I don't want Nurg to get all this healing options, because once you get, once you heal too much, it's a wrap, and then now I'm really close to getting my, my next ultimate weapon, so once I summon Guile, I'm going to get the ultimate weapon, right, so now anytime, like, I'm going to, I'm going to use my cards, right, I'm, I'm going to use this, because 1, 2, 6, I can get this guaranteed damage right here, right, yep, little beast cannon for Iris, and then I have the ultimate weapon on deck after I get 3 MP. He knows I have 1 MP, and then he uses he uses action card. I get the guaranteed, like, the automatic, like, blue 2 MP, so that's pretty good. Yeah, so I might as well put a shield here just to protect Feline for the, for the flight. You know, I don't want, I might, I might, I want you to kill me in two, in pretty much three turns versus two, right? So, yeah, I don't take damage from there. Feline's going to attack straight directly. Which is great look and i have um thinking about it yep yeah, put another flight so i got three flight characters and i'm probably gonna use uh just probably the ultimate weapon like pretty soon at this point right because at this point it's just guaranteed damage yep i'm gonna do the reckless charge boom quick attack hugo man you can't really get you can't really like grapplers rock and now yeah now i'm gonna use this now this is guaranteed death if you can't save yourself by using like selfish predation i don't know if you have it that's the only way, right? Oh, there you go, Selfish Predation. So you get 7 health. I, I, I waste my ultimate weapon. That's the only downside about the ultimate weapon that it gets, it's pretty bad. But it's okay, because I'm going to do 3 damage from here. 8, right? So I forced him to to, to pretty much kill his uh, his card. That, that was a strong card. It's 3 and 8, right? Because it just it goes down every every turn because it was strong. Yeah, so I'm going to get the handgun. Um, so, no, that didn't even need to. He killed himself with the doctor, surprisingly. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to work on the second deck, um, showcasing more of like a uh, common deck that people use in the Ryu Shinko Duke. But let's try to use it with Jill's ultimate weapon. You know, using the ultimate weapon is going to give her options to just kind of do 10, 10 piercing damage as you saw earlier and plus using some of the other cards with the explore options with Mikali Victor and Claire Redfield so yeah let's check it out all right so now we obviously you guys just saw the next deck we use is more closely used for Shinko Dukin but we're gonna use it for Jill in this one to see how it works because Jill and Ryu are I would say kind of similar in, in a specific fashion obviously the decks are not completely similar but you know it's pretty up there right so now Dante is like all about the the resonate so we gotta sometimes keep it up right so I'm gonna put that rush out there it's gonna do five damage to uh, Colleen that's the really good thing about about uh about Raphalos especially in the, even though he costs eight it just does so much effect and he's flight too so it's really hard to kind of stop that okay that was good stuff with the halt that's completely fine I'm gonna do the two damage right here just because like I understand that he doesn't want Colleen to die Colleen is definitely like one of those characters that you know, he, he needs to keep alive, right? So, make, it definitely makes sense. Okay, you're gonna put me for EX. That's fine. You didn't want the guarantee attack. So, now I gotta wait. Take this two damage, little by little. I right, you know, I got some good cards, right? I got the double headshots. I got a Jill. And I already got my uh, ultimate weapon, right? So, the fact that my ultimate weapon is gonna help a lot as well. If I just want to take out that pesky Colleen. I got some of the um, Claire Redfield, but I need to get... I can't really use Claire Redfield at this point because it's one of those cards where I really need to just, um, damn, that was the bad target. I wanted him to target Colleen instead, but didn't. Oh well, that's the problem with that card. You can't choose which one you want to attack. It's completely random, so sometimes the RNG might not be in your favor. That's fine. You take three damage. I'm still in the life lead, even though I got double stun right now. Yeah, Claire Redfield, I can't really use her because my score count is only a one. I need to be. I need it to be a three if, for it to be just you know really effective at this point, right? So I just gotta wait, wait it out. Okay, he's gonna halt again. Really doesn't want this Colleen to die, but I don't know how long he can really keep this halting game going on. Uh, eventually, it's gonna run out, and I'm gonna use a uh, headshot to get the three damage plus the charge, which will give me one more AP. So it gives me four AP compared to just like just the regular three. So that's kind of really good, right? I'm gonna use the BB hood right here 
take out of that. So now it's gonna be really hard for Dante to do anything, right? Okay, Dante. Okay, you get you get to put the stun, the random stun, but Raffle is about to hit you. Yep, for five damage with the character. And there's another headshot right here, and then I'm gonna have my uh, ultimate weapon pretty soon. Okay, you're gonna negate that. That's fine. All right, that's cool. It didn't cost anything for you to negate, but you know. Okay, you're gonna put me in the quick slow bind. You know, I don't really like using this Dante super, but you know, it is what it is. It's it's very slow, but all I need is just kind of like just one more turn to kind of really get that uh, ultimate ultimate weapon, right? It's really in my favor because I have 22 health. Uh, Dante only has eight health, so it's it's one of those things that's where it's like, yeah, whatever. But I don't want I don't want to use the the other one to kind of get that card, just because it might be in that situation where I might just like kind of kill my own board with like the the BB hood, the middle one. That card uh, does four damage to everyone in there, so that's the really hard part. So now I got this, right? And I got five MP, so now I'm able to just use it right away, unless he's gonna just negate it. Negate it. But let's see if he negates it. Even if he, get, even if he negates it, he's such in a bad. Oh my God! With the gamble and the gate, come on, man! The unforeseen interference. Yeah, it's whatever. It's fine. I don't get my my ultimate weapon off that this round, but a lot of times BB Hood. Save me. She's that's such a good card to be with the five and then you get four damage. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna put me in halt. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doesn't it he's he's really he's really trying to survive here, which is which is it's kinda nice, which is kinda cool I guess. He's really trying to survive. Yeah, so I'm gonna just wait out. Put the Ryu, boom, get the burst. Look at that. Hadou can look at the time, the agility. Yeah, that's it. Game over right here. And that's that's the first game, so let's uh move on to the next one. Alright, so now we got a Jill versus Jill mirror match. I'm actually kinda curious on like what kind of deck that this person has. So we'll see. Um yeah, this is a pretty good hand. I got two BB hoods, uh, which is really gonna be annoying, right? Especially if I just wait it out. Wait it out, build let my MP build. Um might might be they might have a similar build at this point as well too, so let's see if they have a similar build. If, if he has a BB hood or something else to kind of do damage, I think he's just waiting and I'm going to be waiting as well. Yeah, see, look at that. So I'm just waiting as well at that, at that specific scenario. The BB hood just... I, it's kind of crazy that BB hood is a very common character for like them to just always kind of have, right? Like, it's kind of out there. So I have another BB hood. Damn, deal six piercing damage. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm going to spend my, my guarantee two to get the art charge plus take away two damage from you so we still doing two damage each yeah that's fine i'm gonna have uh think about what else to, what other uh what combination to use right here it's kind of interesting yeah i think that was a bad play that was totally bad i don't know why i did that so that was very scrubby i don't know why i sacrificed that card especially when i have uh I haven't used the explore option i think that was just a frank tick one because i didn't want to use my baby hood that, that early i would say so I'm gonna wait right here, get the rush. Yep, that's a trade. So now I have two characters out, and um, I'm waiting for the card right here for a rocket launcher. Man, that card is cheap. Yeah, that card is cheap right there. The, the, the Carlos is a four and it's a one nine. Yeah, it's like it's not even worth it to use at that point. You might as well I, you might as well just let that rock to be honest. Right. I'm just see. I'm just confused because he has the rocket launcher and I can't really counter it, and I don't want to put my eight and then he's gonna just rocket launcher my Raffalos or use the Ryu. So I gotta just like chip it out for a little bit. I need to chip it out. Okay, that was a good sense of duty. That's cool. But I have like some ex some good good cards in the ex pocket, right? So I'm just just gotta wait it out, right? So I'm gonna just try to get that rush real fast. Boom! Nice. I'm surprised he didn't really he didn't blow blew blew up Raffalos. I guess he wants the the massive damage at that point for the piercing damage. Okay, the handgun. That's fine. You want the Carlos? All right. So I have to really be careful because that that's gonna do 10 damage right there from Carlos. Carlos will do 10 damage. So now let's see. I waited for that point for Raffalos to just kind of target somebody and then get that damage off right so now it like i took i took away some of his defense so now i'm gonna do eight piercing damage right there okay that's fine I take three you take eight so that's completely fine now i have the next ultimate weapon right here so once i get this once once i get this three i could set up shop i have the he double headshot as well look at this i'm just waiting at this point boom 
Active response. Can you protect your mans? Surrender. And that is the game right there. That's the really good part about Joe's ultimate weapons on that. Like sometimes it could force a checkmate situation. And now we're gonna go to our last deck um, that we're gonna showcase right now. It's a kind of like experimental, so yeah, check it out. Here's the last deck that I'm gonna use. This is more of like a tryout deck. I um, just wanna try out different things. Think of it like as a burn from like other card games where like you know, I'm pretty much not going to really attack you. It's going to be more of like just damage from action cards, healing, make sure you can't attack me, and using the ultimate weapon piercing damage to help with that. So let's check that out and see if it works out. Alright, so now we're going to fight against another Nerg Gigante player. And this deck is obviously like more of like a like kind of like a burn deck where it's like a stall. And I'm just kind of like taking away health by using character, by using action cards like headshots. Uh, charging up my my hero arts and also using the ultimate weapon piercing damage at the same time like so I'm trying to build that with as, as much as I can and you know using a lot of healing cards to kind of protect these characters that give me these fast MP boosts at the same time get the Zangief shield going on right here my right, iris is gonna go down like that but I have another iris which is really nice I'm gonna use this for right get the ultimate weapon on deck and see now it's it might hurt a lot against the nerd player because those threes and the ones are pretty you know they're pretty weak okay now i gotta worry about this character um with three and eight so that's gonna be pretty scary so i'm gonna heal might as well just keep buffing up my other my other uh, hero arts right here using that to give me plus five defense and i get that charge so now i got two charges so that's gonna be just amazing to have look i'm already i'm already like go on my way to the, my next ultimate weapon at the same time right so damn then the jet is like five and eight too that's kind of crazy so now do i bank on this or do i bank on on hopefully i don't target jetta with the chart or what what do you think it's one of those things scary right so now i have to use oh come on man you really went to use jetta oh come on all right that's fine that's actually pretty good actually I'm actually down with that. Like I'm okay. I'm the you, you okay? You you healed up to thir back to thirty. That's okay. But I mean, you still took three damage, and my feline was still able to survive. I kind of took away your Jetta card that was able to like kind of put you in a scenario where you where uh you know he was pretty strong, right? So um, and I'm I wasted your selfish predation, which is cool. So now I got my set my my next ultimate weapon already. So we're gonna use that right away. So let's see if you have another selfish predation where you're just gonna let your man's die. All right, he let his man die. Takes his five damage, 19. Okay, I got the headshot. I got able as well to heal myself, so that's pretty cool. He oh, he mistimed it, so he didn't really get to survive. He didn't really get to keep that one life right there. All right, my feline still survived, but he's gonna go down this this scenario. But I'm gonna use able to heal up, get the get more of a life advantage deficit. So it's one of those things that you know you you kind of like put pe pre put pressure on, right? Okay, now he does this. He's gonna dest destroy my card. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna use the guarantee two to get to take it. Now you're down to 11 health. Took five damage right there, and I'm close to having my next uh, rocket launcher, right? My next ultimate weapon. So I'm gonna use probably gonna put out Iris right here, right? Boom! Look at that, just in time, right? To trade there, and I'm one AP away from getting another, right? another ultimate weapon already so that's kind of good right so we're gonna use another iris why not you know it's one of those things boom let's call it let's call it, let's, call it, let's call the big guns out so now we have another ultimate weapon that's like the third one in this round right so i it seems like the burn deck is doing pretty decent okay yeah you're gonna obliterate that's fine that's fine you can obliterate i'll use the ultimate weapon, right i don't know if you have another selfish predation nope you're gonna take the four damage fine and then i have the headshot also right so that's guaranteed three so technically you're you only have four you only have uh four health left right so now i have like two zangiefs i have some good uh characters to kind of like defend myself okay i'll take this guaranteed two damage for like two turns right so that means I'll, I'll lose four damage with the crow if i can't do anything else with it um 
but it's one of those things okay you powered up the crow which is fine as well but you took away one health so now i have the, no, i'm gonna just just call out the ultimate weapon just because i want to get a fourth i could have ended the game already with the headshot you know it's one of those things but i just wanted to just just to flex that i was able to pull off four ultimate weapons right there so now i have like two cards that i can kind of guarantee myself like well three cards actually just guarantee myself victory or zangief's gonna just kill you yeah zangief but i had the double headshot plus the ultimate weapon plus zangief just down there chilling it, it seemed that it worked out pretty well but yeah i kind of like this let's try to maybe using it more in the future all right, everybody, just wanted to show you guys real quick about my new collection, the Jay Wong brand shirt. So we got this one, the Jay Wong Clutch Out. We got other shirts as well. I just want to just throw it out there. You know, it really helps a lot if you guys can really support, buy a shirt, you know, you know, share it to your friends, buy a hoodie, hat, beanie. It would really mean a lot, and it will help me as a player, as an influencer, just as somebody that you look up to, it would really help me just to keep moving things you know what i mean keep progressing in life and keep giving you the content that you guys deserve link is in the description and once again please if you're interested check it out man it's just Wong. i'll see you guys later peace